Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you did not expect to see this in your sub boxes. Um, but I know that I am a little bit behind in playing episode three. Um, but I had decided that I wasn't going to stream it, although I have been streaming other things. I'm not. I wasn't going to stream this because it, I already had episode one and two uh, up on YouTube. So I decided that I would do episode three on YouTube as well. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Um, interesting. Game froze a little bit there. Anyway, what I was trying to say <coughs> was because I had done the first two episodes as a YouTube series, I figured I would do the third as well and not stream it. Um, now. The, the two series, episode one and two, that are on YouTube are the old episode one and two. Now, I have since streamed the remakes of those episodes, the redos. But I'm not going to make another series on that. Know that some stuff changed, uh, but I'm sure that that stuff that changed, um, if I remember correctly, was just contained in those episodes. Uh, it, I might be wrong, though, because there was like a... There was a, a, a recap that had some of the new stuff in it. It was just new characters that you could talk to. Uh, episode 2 was completely changed and made way cooler. Also, the game keeps freezing. I don't know. But, here we go. Now, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't played this game in a very long time. A very long time. We're going to see... Uh, we're going to see if these skills stick with you. This looks like the... Well, I was going to say it looks like the end of episode 2, but it really doesn't. Anyway, in usual RC fashion, uh, during cutscenes, I'm going to probably try and stay quiet. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get back into it, uh, but note that I am probably going to suck ass. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, I should mention before I get quiet, though. Oh. Uh, that as this is a continuation of... Uh, I just continued to the next uh, chapter. It's going to be the continuation of what I streamed. And what I streamed was the hardest difficulty, which is Hardened, I believe. So that's the difficulty that we're going to be playing this on. Anyway, let's get into the game here. So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. Yeah, that's cool. Where's your house? You're you know what she's there. asking, lady. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. Then let's talk. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out... hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You've been out there for hours. Maybe even days. Nearly dead. Wow. Well, um... <laughs> Thank you for finding me. Name's Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? 
Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. Damn bird wouldn't shut up. Led me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. Hmm. So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley. Oh, we're in Pleasant Valley. So we're usually prepared for it. Feels like we run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start. Or the cars. Tractor. TV's dead. Radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. Hmm. Is this your kitchen? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here. Power's out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. You carried me here? more like but yeah. You're pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world had no end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. fire and <laughs> whoa it's okay you're all right now don't get too worked up you nearly died out there that does funny things to people i was in a plane crash in the mountains that's how i ended up in milton i i got separated from a, from a friend they were in the crash too Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? <laughs> right. Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. Or, you don't look too good. or and hear me out, you. you give me a weapon, and I'll go do it. And... 
it's not safe out there, so just Doesn't need the target house. practice anyway. Right. It's been a while. I mean it. Stay in the house. I mean that that means like I'm not gonna stay in the house, right? Or she is, okay. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like what the hell are you really doing out here? That's a long story. Well, power's been out for, I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful yeah, kind. Not the useful kind. I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash. The thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm going to help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in a plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here to Great Bear? Yeah. It's a terrible idea. Not your best plan. Yeah, I figured. Everybody says that. So the people up north in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No. I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. It's a shame, because I'm well, super curious. You are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here it's better for you to stay indoors why lots of wolves out there and it's cold you aren't strong enough to go out there yet trust me it's for your own safety i appreciate everything you've done to help but i'd like to leave i have to find my friend and get on with my work when you're stronger so i'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. All right, You're lady, adult, chill. You should know that. Jeez, I sorry. I didn't mean to have... Fucking A. You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. What? I need space. I need to think. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Stay out of my shit. Jeez. Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets.
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This place. Am I really trapped in here? Okay. Well, it's not wearing much. And it looks like all I've got is clothes and some matches. What about you? No? Ash, it's very floaty. Uh, I must have... I have a sprained ankle. Pain. Uh, it's painkillers. And... And some bandages. Alright, alright, chill. Astrid. Can't search any of her junk. Well, let's take a look around, anyway. It's a bit, but I'll make it. And I'm assu oh, I was assuming that I needed to go in here and grab painkillers, but maybe upstairs. We'll check that in a second. There's a broken rifle. Looks like maybe the barrel exploded. I mean, I know where we are, like, in the, 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 in regards to, like, how to get around and what to do here. That looks like Molly. I know we're in the, the, the Pleasant Valley farmhouse. Ah. And it doesn't look any different. I mean, the, the placement of some things, like the chair isn't knocked over there, but let's go and look and see if we can find... First aid. No. Ah! Alright, well then we'll just look around. I thought this was supposed to be, uh... The bunk beds. Ow. Yeah, see, it's a little bit different than story mode. In story mode here, there's an extra bed. It doesn't really look like I can do anything. said there was a phone. Maybe look for that phone. Astrid, come on. Not that bad. Huh. I already went in there. Okay. Back downstairs. Look for this phone. Uh, what was, uh... For clues, okay. Never mind, not looking for a phone. Just looking for things to click on and pick up. One more thing. Oh, I mean, sure, I'll take that. Not sure why. I would need that if I'm just looking for clues. You gotta be in here, right? I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Mm, but maybe not. So we, we looked at the gun, we looked at the photo. You would think if, if there's something that would give us any kind of information about her being here, but that's where the photo was. Am I, like, taking damage? Alright. Then instead of just looking for the phone, looks like we actually have to look for stuff. Nothing in here. Oh, wait. There we go. Orange fabric, like the prisoners were wearing. That's, that's probably it, right? Yeah. That smarts a bit. Oh, there is a phone. Downs it's gotta be downstairs if it sounds like it's right there. There it is. What the 
hell took you so long? Damn lady, chill. Uh, hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. Sounds like, yeah, they wolves. They're smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to I know where the head. barn is. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Oh, these do. People. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for oh, protection. here we go. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it? Oh, I took your uh, cooking pot, though. So here's the deal. I haven't played this game since they added the revolver. So that's new to me. Flower vase. Flower vase has a key. I didn't see... Oh, this? Yeah. Nailed it. Got it. And if we want to get to the... The basement, the quickest way is through this way. Okay. This way then? I have the fucking key. Okay, it's really I have to figure out how to use the damn key. Um But it's not showing up here. Did I I picked up the key, right? Y'all. Okay, I picked up the fucking key. Hmm. Is there did they add a way into the basement? They sure did. Alright. I don't think you could ever go through that door. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that I ever really tried to get through that door in survival mode, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Let's take that. Oh, did it automatically put it on? It did. Yes. Yes, they will. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's use this stuff. Okay. Now we're good. Now she can stop the planning. Oh shit. What? That is a dead ass body. Is Molly not as cool as she seems, even though she started to get kind of psycho there at the end? Did it go take her for a killer? Shit. No, that's the guy she found in the in the car. She didn't kill that guy, there's no way. Remember in the uh in the opening when she found Astra, she also there was a dude in the car. That looked like he was dead. Might as well bring this along. Yeah, rifle ammunition, and revolver ammunition. Worse. I need to reload this. Okay. I didn't remember my buttons there. What else do we have, though? I'll take it. Okay, and she automatically put that stuff on. Everything I have, I should be wearing. Excellent. I think those matches too.
And she said, follow the blizzard line to the barn. I know where the barn is, but if there's a blizzard, it has been a while since I've played, and I might get off course. So let's see if there's actually a line that I can follow. Uh, I guess we'll take that book for starting fires if we have to. I'm going to assume that I am not actually timed in this situation, so I probably could repair some of my stuff. But I think we're just going to get out there after I check nooks and crannies here. Sometimes they put stuff behind stuff. Take that. Nothing. Alright, so I think the best way, or the only way actually, it would be to get out here. Alright, let's see how it looks out here. Sounds like a blizzard. And I'm thinking that I should probably conserve there are the lines to the barn. This? Okay. Because we have flares. So if it comes to it, I think I'm gonna use a flare instead. I don't remember if there's actually anything in here. No. Okay, let's just follow the line. And hope that uh Maybe I won't even need it. So I do have the pistol. Now she says that the pistol probably won't kill a wolf. I bet if I shoot a wolf in the face, it will get killed. Now the, the barn is off that way. I could have just went that way. Because this, look, this line looks like it's taking me to the road. Which is kind of a long way to go. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Hey buddy, you just chill, alright? Also, this is not the barn that I was thinking of. I was thinking the big red barn. Alright, chill out, Ashton. We're getting in the vehicle. Sometimes there's stuff in here. I'm pretty sure I'm still sneaking. Shit, where did you come from? Also, it's still cold. I mean, it could pop the flare. Or I could just get this guy ready. I'm pretty sure opening the door is going to alert the wolf. See if I can't get in here. Uh oh. What? Really? Maybe I didn't hit him. I'll just get in there. Because it, it obviously wouldn't scare him off if I fired it too close unless it hit him. Phone, really? Hello? Is that you? Molly? Who else would it be? Yeah. Look, sorry I bailed on you, but I couldn't take a chance and wait. One of those big bastards broke into the barn. And as luck would have it, I'd left my bow in here last summer completely forgot. Anyways, took care of that son of a bitch. Molly, I, I was in your basement. Right. I, um, I found the body. Shit. Molly, who, who was it? Just, it's none of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault, lady. His hand huh. fell. An old flyer for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there. Uh, what was my reload? There we go. Okay. 
let's take a little look around here first. They did hurt me, but I don't think they gave me any lasting. No, just the hypothermia risk. And it is still cold, even in here. I'm going into one of those. That's the only way out, is that door. I gotta go. Hypothermia risk. Uh, I don't remember this barn ever being here, so... Oh, hello. So this is new. Uh, but we're gonna sneak. Get one of these ready. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out here. Okay. Well, the blizzard's gone. And they're way out there. Hi, Thompson's Crossing. Okay, we're gonna go... We're gonna go to the big red barn, which is what I thought she was hanging out in. And I'm just gonna have this flare out and ready. Oh no, that's not the big red barn. That's the, the house. We are gonna go to the big red barn. Uh, being that this is story mode, and it seems like they put more wolves in story mode, like just at key key spots, especially since I'm playing hardened. Kind of worried about these ridges. But I'm taking them anyway. I don't see any cattails. Yeah, I hear you. This is all behind me. There we go. Take some cattails just because cattails. One more rock for the road. Guess we need to brain some rabbits later. And moving on. Some sticks too. I'm I'm worried about this hypothermia though, because I don't have a lot of clothing. But the way I see it, I'm gonna treat this like I'm playing, uh, whoa, alright. I'm gonna treat this like I'm playing survival. Sort of. I know, even on Hardened, Hardened, if I remember correctly, because, uh, like I said, when I did the episode one and two redo redos, uh, I did them on Hardened, and it felt a lot like I was just playing Voyager. So I know, you know, you guys that have watched me stream this game know that I've, I've streamed on Interloper. Um, it's not that hard. I am losing health because cold, though. There's that shack over there, but we'll deal with that later. Okay, I see a wolf out there. See if we can get into the shed without getting accosted. I saw that one, and I saw one going that way. Uh, being that this is also Pleasant Valley, I'm sure there there might be a bear. Possibly a moose. I could have went up to Signal Hill, but I feel like the story is probably going to send me there. So I shouldn't waste my time with it just yet. Uh, hopefully there are more arrows behind this this uh, barn as well. There's the target practice thing there with, with some arrows. Oh, hello. That you can get in some of the lower difficulties. Okay, he's going after a rabbit. I thought he was coming after me. Because that guy was doing what I like to call the trot. Is when... When they have gotten an interest in you, but they don't quite know what you are. They'll do a trot. 
Like that dude is trotting after that deer. So I'm gonna let him just keep trotting that way. Should be clear to get into the barn. Let me go ahead and take a run. He might have caught the deer. Nailed it. It is still ridiculous cold in here. Oh, there's the bow. Excellent. We are in business, ladies and gentlemen. I think I can use this. That means that I really, really do want to check outside and see if there's some arrows. I was not expecting there to actually be a bow here. I might have to start a fire and get some of my health back, though. Uh, there should be a fire barrel here. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Upstairs. Some wood. Okay, we're not freezing anymore. Do I, if I don't warm up? Oh, just kidding. We started freezing again. For some reason, right where I was standing, it wasn't cold. Or it wasn't freezing cold, but now it's freezing again. There we go. Put that on, maybe? Okay. Forgot. If you don't have a item in the slot, I guess it automatically does it for you. Come on, lady. There you go. Arrow. It's an arrow shaft. Well, I can't build an arrow with it being this cold. This will come in handy. But I did pick up the two arrows from the, the wolf corpse. Cry bar. Well, we know the flare guns in the game, or in this episode. Whole bunch of food. What is that? Check that out at some point. Okay, I'm gonna get down there and start a fire. What is that? Plank. Oh, okay, because you can break it down. Also, I need to look in the back of the truck. There we go. Okay. Need to warm up. And we'll use the book because I'm holding on to it. 55%. Could be worse. Come on, little fire. Oh, what a hero, Astrid. Right on. Okay. I'll put that guy in there. I don't know if I'm going to need that scrap metal, to be honest. But I need to get this hotter. Ah. Put some sticks in there. Okay, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for episode one. Uh, I'm pretty excited to get back into it. It has been so long. I've been talking about playing it again on the channel, on the, the Twitch channel for a, a while now, uh, but I didn't want to play the the story mode. I didn't want to play Wintermute on 
the uh, I didn't want to stream it until I put it on because, like I said, it is it's tradition. You can play it on YouTube. I got episode one and two on YouTube. Might as well do episode three as well. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys are at least happy that I'm coming back for this. I'm not going to sit here and promise you that there's going to be more stuff on the channel or anything like that. I, I have been uh, having the itch to put some stuff on the channel recently as I've been starting to stream a little bit less. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video as usual, hit the like button. Just let me know. Like, I guess that's the best way. Throw some comments down there or or hit the like button to uh, let me know if... if you want to see more stuff on the channel? Anyway, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.